Hi, welcome. I'm Dr. Mandel. I want to review about squatting, uh, the detrimental effects of squatting incorrectly. Realize that many disc herniations, disc bulging problems, as well as disc degeneration all comes from incorrect squatting. Understand that the muscles uh, have pain sensitive fibers like bones do, but the discs composed of the annular fibrosis around the outside fibers of the disc, as well as the nucleus pulposus, the inside gel of the disc, has uh, very little pain sensitive fibers on the inside. Obviously, where the outside of the uh, annulus uh, meets the cortex, there are pain sensitive fibers. Although, most degeneration that occurs in the discs uh, is what we call asymptomatic, where you're not going to feel anything. But realize that when you're holding uh, excessive stress up on the disc and the squat is not done correctly where many tendencies most people have a tendency to lean forward while going down and while coming up during the squat that angle of moving forward each degree of going forward adds that much more sharing to the discs and more load to the disc causing an increase of intradiscal pressure so Squatting has a direct relationship with degeneration as well as herniations, particularly when not done correctly. The worst thing to do on a squat is when you get down to the bottom is when you start to bob or jolt. That extra compression of that jolting adds that much more sharing to the discs and obviously more load and the end result is more degeneration. So just to keep a heads up that these discs do not feel the load like the muscles and bones do. They do not have the pain sensitive fibers and they are fibrocartilage. And this cartilage does degenerate and unfortunately does not regenerate. So once something is worn, even though you're putting all this wear and tear on this disc, it's the later phases when the disc gets so thin or compresses out onto the nerve to when you start experiencing low back pain or sciatica, which is pain on the leg. So there you have it. Make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.